All right, so we're going to go and take some notes today. This one's just notes on 8.2 exponent properties involving quotients. All right, so this is going to go on the right hand side of your notes, so be ready for that. Okay, so exponent properties, but this time with quotients. Last time we talked about products. So let's take a look. Notice what happens when, let's take a look, x to the fifth over x to the third. Well, x to the fifth is x times x times x times x times x <gasps> over x to the third, x times x times x. Well, you can see that uh, anything divided by itself is going to turn into a 1. So there's a 1, there's a 1, and there's a 1. That all cancels out. 1 times 1 times 1, right? And I'm left with only two x's, an x and an x, which is x squared. Now, instead of doing this the long way, I could just notice that um, there's a property that says, hey, look, if they have the same base, you just take your exponents and you subtract them. And you come up with your answer right here, okay? That property, it's a key concept. I'm going to write this down. It's called the quotient of powers property. Quotient, because you're dividing, of powers, because you're dividing things that have powers. All right, so let A and B, uh, let A be a non-zero real number, and let M and M be a positive integers. Okay, if that's the case, then this will make sense down here. To divide powers having the same base, they have to have the same base, just like these did up here, okay? Same base, subtract the exponents. So A to the M, A to the N. They both have the same base, so all I can do is I can subtract the exponents, just like that. Now, if I had actual numbers, let's take a look. 4 to the 7th divided by 4 squared. That's 4 to the 7 minus 2, which is 4 to the 5th. That would be my answer there. Okay. One more property for you. It is called the power of quotient property. Power of quotient. So you're taking a fraction, you're taking to a power. So to find the power of a quotient, find the power of the numerator and the denominator, then divide. Okay, so what are we talking about? A over B, in parentheses, then to the M. It's kind of like distributing. The M goes to the A and to the B, just like we have here. Okay, so let's use some numbers. Three to the seventh, I'm sorry, three halves to the seventh. That just means three to the seventh and two to the seventh. Okay, and then you could go on and tell me what numbers there they are over here and then divide them. Okay, but this would be uh, enough for, for now. Okay.